Is that me? Following the lead of the Senate, I rise for the purpose of a coup d'etat. No, just kidding. Um, will the sponsor yield? Oh, not a funny joke in this chamber. God forbid. Will the sponsor yield? Miss, will you yield? Will the sponsor yield no. for a few brief I questions? I what the gentleman said because I didn't catch it. Yeah. Will the sponsor yield for a few brief questions? I think I'd rather not yield, Madam Speaker. Okay. On the bill? On the bill. God bless democracy in the New York State Assembly. That's a very good indication for the folks, the, the six or seven people and mom that are watching at home. Here we have a sponsor of a bill who doesn't even have a farm in their district, and they refuse to take questions. They're surrounded by three researchers who I doubt have probably worked on the farm themselves. Meanwhile, a majority member... Uh, you missed the bull. You're out of order. I'm out of order? Why? I just asked you to yield, ma'am, and you refuse it. Not only that, you didn't... Missed the ball? No. No, not now. Taken, I don't know, 15 people's questions, but since I couldn't understand the joke, the gentleman disgraced the chamber by saying I made a decision not to yield, but I'd certainly like to ask him to yield. Ma'am, I repeated it. Madam Speaker, is my colleague going to yield to a question from me? Mr. Ball, will you yield? Madam Speaker, is my colleague unable to understand a simple Madam question? Speaker. Is my colleague going to yield order, order, from a please. question Madam from me? Madam Speaker, I'll, I'll, I'll take her questions all day long. Let's go. Yes, the member yields. The member Madam yields. Speaker, does my colleague have any idea how much debate we've had on this bill, or perhaps he wasn't paying attention? Madam Speaker, does the sponsor of this bill uh, get upset at the fact that her bill is being debated on the floor and democracy is actually Madam taking Speaker, place? I'm we're thrilled we're to do this. Madam Excuse Speaker, me. could my colleague answer? Okay, Ms. Speaker, let's ratchet this and down. What the was the joke? I want to know what the joke was. Let's proceed the through the colleague. Let's proceed through the chair and act accordingly. Work it through the chair, please, colleagues, and then we'll go forward. Mr. Ball, as long as you limit your comments to the bill before the House, then we can continue. Madam Speaker, the only other comment is she did hit the American flag on the ground if somebody can pick it up. Okay. Yeah, uh, Madam yeah, You're out of order, Mr. Ball. You're out of order. But I believe I have the right for 25 years in this chamber to be treated by respect for my colleagues as I have treated everyone else. The gentleman has made jokes, mocking remarks, and character characterizations of my responses that I believe are not correct. Ms. Nolan, your point is well taken. Thank Ma you. Mr. Canestrari? Okay, let's... Mr. Canestrari, Ms. Nolan, please. Ms. Nolan. Colleague, colleague, Ms. Nolan, let's uh, return to the chair. Let's deal with the merits of the bill before us without personal characterizations or any other diatribes that do not belong in this chamber. Ms. Calhoun. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I, I think I'm going to speak on the bill. <laughs> you are out of order, Mr. Ball. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Okay, we need some Ms. water in the chambers. Mr. Ball, Ms. Nolan, Ms. Ms. Calhoun, Speaker, if you, are you going to speak on the bill? Well, if it's my turn, Madam Speaker. Ms. Ms. Calhoun, Ms. Calhoun we're going to allow Mr. Ball to speak on the bill. No. Ms. Nolan, please. Ms. Speaker. Ms. Nolan, please. Okay, let's, let's stop this. Ms. Gossip. I think... Ms. Speaker, could you clarify who has the floor currently? I think Mr. Ball has the floor. On the bill, Mr. Ball, please. Mr. Ball has the floor if he remains uh, to keep his comments on the bill. Before us, we have a bill that has been introduced by a sponsor who no, didn't grow up on a farm, doesn't live on a farm, doesn't have a farm in their district. On the bill, Mr. Ball, Madam not characterizing the, the, the member or the sponsor. Madam Speaker, I have a question for you. Why do you find it with your, in your interest now to curtail my comments after a feisty debate that went back and forth for five hours? A feisty debate on the merits, Mr. Ball, and if you would like to have the floor, then you're going to have to make sure that you direct your comments to the bill. If you, can you do that? If you allow me to speak for more than 15 seconds, I absolutely can. Mr. 
Madam Speaker, back on the bill. The point of this piece of legislation goes beyond, goes way beyond even speaking about farmers, agricultural districts versus non-agricultural districts. It goes beyond talking about a $5 billion industry versus rural industries or suburban industries or urban industries. The American farmer, the New York State farmer is getting older and older and older. That's the reality. And those farmers are not being replaced in the state of New York. We cannot get dog food from China without worrying about starving our children. We cannot get spinach, we cannot get baby formula without worrying about the consumer standards. There are a lot of signs out there that talk about buy local, eat locally. But the reality is, is that the American farmer and the New York farmer is becoming an endangered species. And I know that there's a basic philosophy, yes, here in the New York State Assembly, that if it's moving, tax it. If it's breathing, regulate it. But that hasn't worked with small businesses in the Hudson Valley. And it certainly is not going to work with the agricultural economy in upstate New York. We've got to ensure that consumers, both in New York City and in upstate, from west to east, have the opportunity to buy local for a couple of reasons. The first reason is food safety. And I want to make sure that New Yorkers always have the opportunity to eat locally and buy food that's being produced and created right here in this state. We have majority members on your side of the aisle who have an agricultural background, who have huge issues with this bill. And their issues with this piece of legislation are not being addressed. This piece of legislation will put thousands of small farmers out of business. And right now, in this country, it's the commercial farmers and the mega farmers who are expanding, while small farms throughout America, where the best quality and the best part of America is represented, are dying out. And this bill is going to adversely affect small farmers. So don't listen to me, that's fine. But the concerns of your own majority members who actually have an agricultural background should be taken and made part of this bill. They know what they're talking about. Throw my comments to the side if you don't want to listen to them. They know what they're talking about. This isn't only a job killer. This is going to put the best in New York out of business, put small farmers out of business, decrease the opportunity of New Yorkers to buy local and eat local. And it's going to kill the best of this state. Sorry I didn't like the joke. Madam Speaker, thank you. Ms.